right here. You can be forgiven right here. Yes. Praise the name of the Lord. Praise you can be washed in the name of Jesus right here. You don't have to leave here the same way you came. You can leave here a different person, a different yes. man, yes. a different woman. You can go out with different goals and different purposes. You can leave here healed of any disease or illness, Amen. mentally, emotionally, yes. or physically. Because I believe that we are living in the day when Christ wants to bring back signs and miracles and wonders in the church of the living God. Praise the name of the Lord. Somebody said, but I just don't believe that. I don't, well, then you don't believe the Bible. And if you don't believe the Bible, then you've got a problem. Because the Bible is the book that heaven and earth will pass away. But this will never pass away. Praise the name of the Lord. And there is, uh, there's a twin to that. It's his church. As the word will never pass away, Jesus said in Matthew, the 16th chapter, he said, who do you say that I am? And they said, well, some say that you're John the Baptist, and some say that you're Elijah, and some say that you're Jeremiah. And you know, you better not get there with Christ. I'm going to tell you right now, you better not be vague with your Lord and Savior. You better be able to identify him. Don't think he's Jeremiah. Don't think he's the prophet. Don't think he's Elijah. Don't think he's any other God. He is Jesus. Praise the name of the Lord. He is Jesus. The forgiver of sins. The healer of diseases. The tender part of little children. The kind part of women. The rescuer of the downtrodden. He is Jesus. Only he can deliver you from sin, disease, problems that you can't do, uh, conquer. That's why I, I tell you what, if you think we're a noisy church, we really ought to be a noisy here. Praise the name of the Lord because I, when you think about what Jesus Christ can do for you and has done for you, I want to ask you a question tonight. All of you that are really born again, not the pretenders, not the put on people, those that are really born again here tonight, do you have a reason to praise him? Do you have a reason to praise him? Do you have a reason to give him the glory and praise for what he is and what he's done? How he is and who he is. Praise the name of the Lord. He's your positive thinking. He's your sunshine. He's your hope. Yeah. He's your psychiatrist. Yeah. Someone came tonight, Kayla. Um, she's probably back in the nursery right now, but uh, she came and we prayed for her, for the George's wife. And, um, and, and she said, Brother Marlo, she's been going through a real battle, Sister Kayla, because she loves the Lord and God loves her. And, and, uh, but she's a new mother and she has a lot of pressure, and a lot of things that uh, is upon her right now. And um, she said, pray for me because um, I'm dealing with depression. Let me tell you something about depression. Depression is from Satan. Depression is from the evil one. Your mind cannot give in to it, give over to it, because Jesus Christ is greater than your depression. Praise the name of the Lord. You don't have any reason to have depression tonight. But I have it. But you don't have any reason to have it. Because Jesus Christ is going to bring you through any issue, any problem, any disease. The woman that touched the hem of his garment certainly knew that it didn't matter what disease she had, the healer was there. When Lazarus came from the grave and he looked at Christ and Christ just loosed him and let him go, he knew that he had no reason for depression because he had met the master. He had met the resurrection and the life. There's nothing that Christ can't do for you. And they said in this uh, encounter, in the 16th chapter of uh, Matthew, they said, um, you know, uh, uh, they say that you're these people. And Jesus 
was very upset with it. And he turned around and said, I'm not happy about that. But he said, but who do you say that I am? <laughs> Enough of this stuff, they said. You know, I'm going to say this tonight in this church. I'm not really interested in what they said. I'm interested in what you're saying. I'm interested in you. If you have an encounter with Jesus Christ, if you have been born again, if you have touched the hem of his garment, if you're getting victory in your life, because for you to leave here with that issue of blood tonight, it isn't fair, it isn't right, and it shouldn't be. A Christian should be whole and healed and happy. Praise the name of the Lord. A child of God should have no regret or no remorse or no retreat. A child of God should be elated about their past, their present, and their future. Well, I'm not. Well, then let's work on you tonight. Praise the name of the Lord. Let's put you on the operating table. Let's let Dr. Jesus pick you apart and put you back together again. But Brother Marlow, I've got problems. The whole world has problems, but Jesus Christ carries millions of problems. How many people does he heal in a moment? How many people in the world tonight feel his presence? What is he doing for everybody that has a need? Remember this. The only reason that you're not getting what you need from him, if that be the case, is because right now the Bible said, ask, and it shall be given. Seek, and you shall find. Knock, and it shall be opened. Praise the name of the Lord. But I, it isn't happening to me like that. It can happen to you. Remember the woman that touched the hem of his garment did not have it happen till it happened. But when she touched him, the blood stopped there and there. And, she, and Jesus said, uh, there's virtue going out of me. Somebody got through to me. Somebody encountered me. Somebody drew from me. You know, it's wonderful when you know the well has water in it. And you can draw water out of the well. Praise the name of the Lord. The Samaritan woman never knew there was a well that she had no bucket for it. She never knew that there was a well of everlasting water, everlasting life, until she met Jesus. Praise the name of the Lord. And then she got hilarious, and she got happy, and she ran down to Samaria. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. Come see a man. Come see a man. You know, I feel like I'm going to shout it tonight. Come see a man. sitting back here. And I looked back at him and I said, Brother Adolph, up here, he said, I'm hurting. I've got pain. I'm, I'm hurting in here. Yeah. But in a moment of prayer, yeah. in a moment of time, yeah. he pressed his way Amen. through the crowd. Amen. He touched the hem yeah. of his garment. And he looks happy right now. Amen. And he looks relieved right now. Yeah. We don't praise him enough. We don't give him enough glory. We don't say glory to God enough. We don't say hallelujah enough. We, we just let people intimidate us and somebody frowning at us. Well, what in the world are they doing? Are they going nuts? Are they going crazy? Are they, are they losing their mind? I lost mine 64 years ago and Christ gave me his. Praise the name of the Lord. 64 years ago, I traded the Marlow mine for the Christ mine. And since that time, I've been a happy man. I've been changed. I'm blessed, by the way. And I want to make them welcome right now. Uh, uh, I, I, my, my cousin Ed, that silver-haired, white-haired, patrician southern gentleman, right back there. Ed, hold your hand up. And there's, there's my cousin Ed. Uh, we are so glad to have Ed Marlow in the service for that. And Marna, is it? Uh, Marna, uh, in, in, in the service, his lovely wife. And uh, they're up from around Atlanta, and up above Atlanta, somewhere in that area with Six Flags, I believe. And uh, I knew his dad, and I probably saw him uh, when my, his dad was my first cousin. He's my second cousin. And I, but I never really got a look at him until he came to visit uh, Christine, our other cousin here. And um, now tonight, 
I'm honored to have him in church and his wife. And we're glad that he is here. Praise the name of the Lord. I want to hang on here just a minute more, and we'll see what God does. You know, it is time that we identified Christ in the church. It is time we just became a very changed people. The world is waiting for one thing. Somebody tell me in a moment, and I think you will, they're waiting for the manifestation of the sons of God. They're waiting for God's people yes. to burst forth. Yes. The sons of God to manifest themselves. Yes. Right. The world doesn't have the answer. No. Across Egypt tonight, the president, they're getting ready to throw him out, doesn't have the answer. Our cabinet's been meeting all day, and they don't have the answer. Right. The nations around the world doesn't have the answer to the spreading plague of unrest, of trouble, of anarchy across the world. Because people realize man has a limit that he can help them. They have come to the point where mankind is realizing its own futility, its own depression. And they're, they're, they're looking now more than ever. Yes. More than ever. Yes. The earnest expectation of the creature, Romans 8, 19, yes. on the street, is waiting for the manifestation yes. Yes, dear God. Now look, I'm not going to leave no. this till you get it. Every one of you get it. I'm going to say it now. I, I may be a little plain, a little blunt. I may get where uh, we mix the, the meal with the grits right now. Praise the name of the Lord. Let me tell you something. You better not come to this church, sit poker faced, and and uh, and and and, and, and <laughs> I'm going to say, <laughs> uh, you know, I I've, I've got an experience, and a little dab will do you. And, I come in and every now and then I put my little two cents in, I put my little two cents in, and I sit in my chair and I look good, that, that isn't enough. God is wanting a manifestation of the sons of God right now. Amen. Let's get God all over the house. Let's get God all over the house. Let's get him on the door faces. Let's get him on the mantle. Let's, let's lift our hands and, and tell him we've never loved him as much as we love him. Praise the name of the Lord. Somebody said, but people will be ashamed of you, Brother Marlowe. And they'll be ashamed of this church. If they're ashamed of me, I'm ashamed of them. Yes. Because I'm not ashamed of the gospel right. of Jesus Christ. Right. For it is the power. I said it is the power. Right. It is the power right. of God under salvation. Right. Praise the name of the Lord. The, 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 the church must make a radical U-turn right now. That's you. Alicia, that's you back there. Sylvia, that's you up here. Praise the name of the Lord. Praise that's Lord. me. Yes. That's every one of us. Yes. The church can no longer be, yes. you know, just phlegmatic and dull and boring. And, and, uh, and, and we just wonder if God's going to send Sunday. We are the children of the living God. The gates of hell will not prevail against the church. Jesus said it 2,000 years ago, and I believe it. I don't care how high the gate is, how wide the gate is, of hell, it will not prevail. So when a person gets hellish on this earth with me, I just look at them and tell them, look, I've got enough heaven in me to overcome the hell in you. Praise the name of the Lord. So what are you going to do about that? Praise God. And I usually don't have any more problems after that. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. When a person gets hellish, you just get heaven. Yes. Because heaven will overcome hell. Yes. The gates of hell, including religious systems, and religious systems in the Bible are gates of hell, yes. as well as clubs and societies are gates of hell. Organized doctrine of men is hell. Organized religion is hell. And there's hell and torment in many other places. Sin is hell. But you get heavenly minded and you let God raise up heaven and hell will not prevail against heaven. Praise the name of the Lord. Come on. Praise God. Amen. The world is not waiting for the new F1 edition of the 2012 Ford, some are, uh, if you're a Ford person. Uh, they're not waiting for the latest fashions to come out of Paris, France. 
They're not waiting for the latest president to be elected in 2012. I am not that excited about that. You know, uh, November 2012, we're going to vote again, and we're going to get another president in this country. I'm not going to excite me, not no, one sir. bit, no, not no, one no. bit. Praise the name of the Lord. But you know what excites me? A glorious church. A church not of organized religion. A church led by the Holy Ghost. A church led by God. A ministry under the cloud of heaven. Praise the name of the Lord. That excites me. It excites me that we're going to see the sons of God start manifesting. Praise our God. I said we're going to see the sons of God yeah. Start manifesting. Yes. It doesn't excite me that somebody gets a square meal and, oh, I feel good. I got, I, I got fed. Oh, oh, praise God, somebody give me a can of soup. Uh, yeah, that doesn't really, that, that's just an emotional passing. Eat your soup and go on your way, you'll need another can. You know, let me tell you something right now. What really excites me, doesn't excite me that I might have a thousand dollars in my pocket, I don't. But it, it, it would make me feel good for a little while, but I realize how fast $1,000 can be spent yeah. by my wife or myself or both of us. It won't go in a hurry. Just like that. You know. You know. You know. <laughs> Praise the name of the Lord. That doesn't really excite me. You know what excites me? Not the fashions of men. Not anything man's doing. But this right here tells me there's a church that's going to come about in the United States that Christ will be the head. And one day they'll put on real clean, fine, white linen, which is righteousness and holiness and above sin. That excites me. Praise the name of the Lord. It excites me that the gates of hell will not prevail against the church. It excites me that we're going to have signs and wonders right. and healing yeah. in the church again. Yeah. Yeah. It may break out down here. It may break out over here while I'm preaching. <laughs> Somebody may receive the Holy Spirit. If you believed it enough, you can lift your hands where you are right now. Amen. I'm believing God is going to bring Lucy Walker through cancer treatment. A miracle. A sign. A wonder. In the name of Jesus. Praise the name of the Lord. Brother Tom, we believe God for you. Yes. We're believing God for Joyce, your wife. Yes. We believe there are miracles in the yeah. church. Yes. There are miracles. What is a miracle? A miracle is something that man cannot do. If he's an orthopedist doctor or, or if he's a, a pediatrician or, or whatever he is, surgeon or kind of medicine, he does, he cannot do it. He cannot do it. A miracle is that which nobody can perform. Nobody can visualize it. Nobody can see it. And suddenly there it is. A miracle is when a woman is in her washroom, her, uh, in her, her wash and dryer, and then suddenly she's been working and she goes back into the rest of the house and she's in her bedroom and suddenly her husband hears a cry and she's down. Something strange is happening. Her body is out of control. Health is gone. <coughs> In a moment, yeah. the moving, dynamic personality isn't. In a moment, the intelligence is somewhere not there functioning. The body is not coordinated. And she's rushed to the hospital. And she's in the hospital. And dire predictions go out. What will happen to this lady? But they're saints. Yeah. There's called to be saints. Yes. Yeah. Come on now. Hallelujah. You know we're not ordinary people. I said we're not ordinary people. I'm peculiar. You don't know how peculiar I am. The more God gets a hold of me, the more peculiar. Cousin Ed, I'm a peculiar fellow. Praise the name of the Lord. I'm one of the Marlowe's you never met. But I'm telling you right now. I get very peculiar when I'm up here preaching. And I, I don't preach by by letter, except I let her fly. Praise God. Amen. Amen. I just open up and let her fly. Praise the name of the Lord. Through the crowd. 
This lady went to the hospital and called to these saints, rushed to Blake, went in the emergency room, took up every chair we could find, some we couldn't, and there we were packing it out, 45 or 50 people in that room, crying out, Lord, deliver this woman. Don't let her go. It isn't her time. She's had a major problem, but the master is in the house. Lazarus had a major problem, but Jesus said, Lazarus, come forth. Praise the name of the Lord. I said he had a major problem. He had a major problem. Everybody's done me wrong. 
uh, everybody done me wrong. I sing that done me wrong song over and over again. <laughs> Friend, let me tell you something. If I, you, I'd be up here all night long and say, somebody done me wrong. 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 But you know I can't do that because I've got to say Jesus never done me wrong. Jesus never done me wrong. Come on. Jesus never did you wrong. Jesus loves you. Jesus loves you. Praise the name of the Lord. We've got to build the church. We've got to manifest God because he you know, you, 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 a human being can turn into the worst sour puss that ever lived. <laughs> they can turn into them grappling, grumbling. Everybody's got an in for me. I've got an in for everybody. And the next thing you know, that's all you'll be. Your book is Mr. Bright. Yeah. Or Sister Bright. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. But if Jesus yeah. is real in your life tonight, yeah. You can look past anybody. The old song said, down on your knees. Taller than trees. Hallelujah. You can look above anybody or anything. Well, did I get somewhere? How many got the message tonight? How many know that Jesus is coming back for a joyous church, a happy church, a healed church, a glorious church? And if you don't know him tonight, you're in this house, don't leave here. American Express said that silly thing. Don't leave home with that. Many a person lived better hope that they've never found it. Amen. But this is one thing you don't leave home without. Amen. Amen. We're getting ready for a convention a few days from now. I want to thank God for the army of men and women that are working right. today, right. making meals from the dining room, those working, cooking, putting food together, running equipment. This beautiful, did you notice the new landscaping on the front? It's lovely. Absolutely lovely. They were working, trimming. We're getting ready for that meeting. We're getting ready for, I believe, a revival between now and then. And I believe we're getting ready for miracles and signs and wonders. And I believe we're going to have them. And I'm going to start changing my method, my, my mannerism. Oh, Brother Marlowe, we won't know you if you change. Thank God. <laughs> Thank God you won't know me. Because you may know me too much. You may need to see somebody different walking. Amen. Maybe that's the trouble. We know each other too much. Maybe we need to turn into the manifested sons of God so that nobody knows us anymore. There comes Marlowe. Who it is? Can't figure out who he is. But he's not Marlowe. There comes Stuart. Yeah. Who it is? Stuart. Can't figure out who he is. Out who he is. But I know he's different. he's different. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. I know you're different. <laughs> <laughs> he looks very a lot better than he's ever looked. <laughs> Much better than he ever looked. Now I'm going to tell you something. Now don't the rest of you try to look like him. <laughs> Let me tell you something. When Jesus comes again, you're not going to know me. I'm about to wind up here and finish. You're not going to know me. John 3, put it on the screen there. John the third chapter. Beloved. Behold, what manner of love the Father has bestowed upon us, that we should be called the sons of God. The world doesn't, uh, therefore the world knoweth us not, because it do him not. And next verse down. Didn't know him, 
doesn't know us, beloved. Now are we the sons of God. Now. Right. Everybody say now. now. Are we the sons of God? We are the sons, sons of God. Of God. And does not yet appear what we shall be. I can still recognize Buddy. He still recognize me. But we're changing. We're changing. One day Buddy won't see John Marlowe. And I won't see Buddy Kennedy. Does not yet appear what we shall be. But we know that when he shall appear. I can't hardly stand. My God, I want to dance. I want to shout. I want to run. I'm happy about it. He's coming again. Does not yet appear what we shall be, but we know that when he shall appear. We shall be like him. For we shall see him as he is. still and um, these are I know they were in the hospital and uh, is Clyde home now or is he, no, he's, he's, in, not, he's, he's in the hospital and he'll be there for a few more days all right and uh, we have a couple of brethren back here that hasn't been here before and uh, would you pronounce these names right for me while I'm not mispronouncing um, Abel Martinez Amen. and Hugo Aguilar. Right back here. God bless these men. Some of you, you have a right in here, you want to get right in here and get in it? Amen. Yes. Praise the name Amen. of the Lord. Yes. Bless the Lord. Amen. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. All right. Brethren said, I have a hold of it. And sometimes we do. We get what God wants, then we we detach it. We break it. I want all of you to do something with me. I want you to put your hand in the hand of Jesus right now. Yes. And I want you to say, I believe that this is the day of miracles. I need a miracle. Simply because I'm human. I need a miracle. And I believe now, today, doesn't matter how I feel, how I think, I believe God going to give me that marriage. I'm going to praise him. I'm going to praise him. I believe, I believe. I believe. If, I if I give myself to Jesus, not ashamed, not ashamed. open in my spirit, open in my spirit. I, believe I believe that he, that he is going to change me to where I, I will not know myself, but he will know me because I am a son of God. The Holy, the Holy Spirit, born again, born again. healed from sin, healed from sin. delivered from darkness. Delivered from darkness. I, have I have a hope, not just here, not just here. but in the world.
come. I'm going to praise him now. For the next. Just following the Spirit, the brethren said, hooked up, stay with him. I want you to go with me in this. There are things in me. There are things in me. There are things in me. That I know keeps me from committing my life to him. Completely. Totally. But tonight, I'm going to ask. I'm going to believe. I'm going to receive help that will change me. For I will not leave here the way I came. I confess now that he's Lord of my life. He's the healer of my disease. He's the healer of my heart. I'm going to praise him. Touch your neighbor next to you and say, I'm alive. I'm real. and say, I believe nothing is impossible. He's changing me. He's changing our church. He's changing our world. And he's coming back again. Last week, I said there are two things that God loves. He loves praise, and he loves giving. And I urge you, every time we come together from now to the convention, fill this until it just absolutely stands up, overflows, and God will bless this church. God will bless you and give all my hope. Praise the name of the Lord. Is it up here? I got to find it because I got to give it. You see, God never lets you down in giving. Never. Never. And he'll never let you down in praise and in worship. That other. Thank you, Lord. That's right. Praise the name of the Lord. Go ahead, praise him. In the name of Jesus, you have carried a burden a long time in your physical body and in your in yourself. But I am taking tonight God's word, and I am saying in the name of Jesus, from this night on, the very seeds of a miracle and a healing is taking place. You will not see Jesus and his coming with that in your body. But you will be whole. In the name of Jesus. Praise the Lord. Stanley, stand on your feet. For a long time, this man has wrestled with the demons of hell in his life. But he loves the Lord. He loves the Lord. God bless 
Lord, you right now let the Lord cleanse you, deliver you, heal you from the demons of hell. Praise the name of the Lord. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord. In the name of Jesus Christ. How many want to see your brother delivered tonight? I say, how many want to see him delivered? Delivered, set free. All right, I'm going to ask you to shout right now with me. Nothing is impossible. With God. In the name of Jesus, let every passion, let every habit, let every bond, let every oppression, let every depression, let every habit, leave this body. Leave this body. In the name of somebody shout. Somebody. Jesus, you have been bound and held back, and all your life you've been punished for the demon of hell that has pursued you. But tonight it's over with. Lift your hand. Get ready for Christ to deliver you right now.
I'm going to pray that God will say it's enough. Because you've been made free tonight. Family, I've never heard you shout in church. Glory to God.